Which of the following statements about women's employment in the United States during and after the Second World War is most clearly supported by the passage? So if we read the part that says, and this part's somewhat in the middle, middle of the passage, middle in terms of the left right, we have, but in agriculture, unlike other industries where women were viewed as temporary workers, women's employment did not end with the war. So this is important. Other sectors, women left those jobs after the war, but not agriculture. So that answer matches with those lines match up best with answer choice D, which reads the increase in women's employment that accompanied the Second World War was longer lasting in agriculture than it was in manufacturing or other sectors. So D is our answer. But let's look here at some of the other answer choices and to why they're wrong. So A, most women who joined the workforce during the Second World War wanted to return to domestic life. We do not know anything about what women necessarily wanted in this passage, so A is out. B, the great majority of women who joined the workforce during the Second War, World War were employed in manufacturing jobs. We know that there were a large number. We know that there are also a large number employed in non-manufacturing jobs. However, we do not have enough information in this passage. And therefore, D is the best answer.